Hello there. Thank you for joining me to paint in watercolor once more. I'm going to be painting this wave and I'm using as my reference drawing this fabulous how to paint a wave drawing um, sequence and the copyright is Artist Toolbox. So total thank you to Artist Toolbox for uploading this to Pinterest. So that's where I found this how to paint a wave on Pinterest. I printed it out and then um, I've painted a version, my version of it in watercolour. It's um, such a beautiful step-by-step -step as to how to get the, the wave looking like it's um, crashing over. Um, really captures that lovely momentum. And if there are any questions that you have about the brushes that I'm using, the palette, anything at all, please um, put a comment below and I will endeavor to uh, get back to you. Mixing to get a beautiful wet and wet sky. And then I want this edge to be incredibly soft. So I'm going to use the same mop brush, dampen that edge. And because there's very little moisture on my brush, it just softens the edge and brings it down. So I'm not introducing water, I'm just softening the edge. So I'm going to do the same in the foreground. Just very quickly adding the same two colours because it would very likely reflect the sky. And maybe a bit of dampness again, just soften up. Everything soft, no hard edges because it's all water, all soft. I'll just dry this off a little bit with a tissue. I want this to be nice and white because this is all going to be spray. So just dabbing in there. Turn it over lots of times to get a clean surface. Sometimes you can kind of pick it up and put it back down in this without meaning to, just turning over and over and over. Where the wave has these big spray bits and it's white, then it'll just be the white of the paper. But there are sections where the wave is coming up and it gets kind of um, clear and glassy. So I'm thinking that I paint the wave in um, green. So I'm putting down some water There'll be a spray section in there. I might put a touch of green over there. And this comes down like that. So maybe the green comes in, paints over that. That might be lovely. So green, Viridian, coming down. I don't want to lose these pencil marks. So I'm um, bring that down like that. Just put some of the Viridian over the colour that is reflecting the sky colour, just a little bit. Just soften that over it. And this colour, just a bit more water, soften up to there like that. So it's all soft paint under the wave. And again, I'm using the edge, using the edge using the tip of the brush to form the tip and the belly of the brush to bring it down. Maybe put a bit of glue down there and maybe a bit of glue down there. And some of this blue on, I'm using the belly of the brush and stroking upwards. There. Oh, I forgot to put some green over there. That's right. I'm going to put a blue now. And just while I'm there, I'll soften off all that edge. Soften, soften. So there's a deep tip to, to suggest this is the where it's falling down. So 
けど、それはあれだよね。And this is all spray. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that watery purple and give it a little bit of tone, tiny bit of tone. Maybe it has some tone there. I think it needs a more dark in there. I think I'm missing that dark. And that edge wants a dark as well. I'm going to take my um, flat brush, wet it, and then remove all the excess moisture and just start to soften the edge all along there. Soften, 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 because I want it to look like it's um, water. It's um, a wave, so it's not going to have any hard edges. So I'm just softening off all of that. And then I'm going to just soften, soften off these hard edges, this hard edge, this hard edge, softening all of this. Now I'm going to pick up some of this colour and put it over there so that this extends through like a tunnel. Soften here as well. Add a little more tone to the tunnel, just that little bit more. So I've got my liner and I'm about to sign it. Wet my brush and use this colour that's on my palette. done the wave painting thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video i would really appreciate it please write any comments love to answer any questions that you may have or hear any feedback thank you so much bye